Hey, Sean. Hey, Norm. How's it going? Good. So we're here at the Tested Office, and for the past couple months, you've been setting up our new workshop space. Yes, I have. And we just got our latest tool for our workshop, which yeah. you've been setting up today. I'm very excited about this. Uh, you want to check it out? Yeah, let's go take Should a look. out there? All let's right. Let's go take a look. A little behind the scenes. We're going into our workshop, and here it is. Ta-da! That yeah. is a massive laser cutter. Yeah, we got, we got, a, nice, uh, we got a nice setup here. Um, it's a 60 watt universal laser system uh, and uh, so we can do some really nice big stuff with it and it's fast and uh, I think uh, we can go up to about half an inch uh, acrylic or plywood. Mm. So we're, of course we're going to do, we're going to, we got to do a sample though. Get Absolutely. it going. The first cut. Yeah. yeah so uh, we've done, we're going to do our, we're going to do our tested logo. Oh, All right. awesome. So we just have some, uh, we just got some uh, one eighth inch ply here we're gonna put in. And uh, right now we have the cutting table installed. You can take this out if you're gonna like etch, if you're doing something really tall or big mm -hmm. that you just need to etch, you can take the cutting table completely out. How big is that bed right there? It's, uh, we have uh, an 18 by 24. 18 Or I'm sorry, no, this is the 18 by 32. 18, 18 by 32. By 32, that's yeah. massive. So we can do some pretty big stuff or a lot of little things at the same time. Oh, so, cool. uh, and we've got our uh, filtration system, mm -hmm. which uh, allows us to do everything like right here in this room without having to vent outside. And it's been working great so far. I have not, you can cut this wood and it, it does not stink up the place. So walk me through <coughs> the, the kind of anatomy of a giant laser like this. Uh, where's the laser itself? It's back here. This is actually a cool system. Um, it's a cartridge. So this is the actual laser and it's a metal laser and you can literally, it literally just pops in and out uh, after unhooking one cable. Mm. So that allows you to have, uh, if you wanted to upgrade this at a later date, you could just order a higher wattage one and pop it right in. Or if you need to get this serviced, you can pull it out and send that off and, and not uh, have to worry about the rest of it. Cool. All right. All right. And, then, and then we have our vent hoses on the back and the vent yep. hoses are running into our gigantic filter here. Uh, and um, we're, we're pretty much ready to go. Most of the interface is all going to be on the computer. Okay. So we have the custom print software and this is interesting how to do it. Universal, basically uh, you can, any graphic program, you can pretty much just hit print and it, it acts as though it's a printer and it sends it to this software, which is their stuff. Mm. And it's interesting how it works is that the, the cutting and etching, uh, et cetera, are all based on color and line uh, width. So we have the red here is going to be our cut and the, uh, the black is going to be a raster, kind of like a, uh, it's going to cut down a little bit into the wood. Okay. So the other thing that I really like is that it has a, a really big materials database, which is if any of anybody's done any amount of laser cutting, speeds and power are always like, what should it be? Right. And I've been to a lot of like hacker spaces where they have the cheaper lasers that they have like the chart on the wall. Yep, yep. It's all right here. This is the best part. <laughs> uh, you can literally just go in, pick what we have. So we have, so we have wood and I believe this is birch plywood. So we're gonna pick birch. We're gonna type in the thickness. Point one, yep. two, five. There we go. And you can tweak all of this stuff if need be, but you know, they, part of what getting this system gets you is that it is, uh, they figured out a lot of this stuff for you. Very cool. Which is great. So <clears throat> we have our thickness and the type of wood we have in there. We have it in there ready to go. And I'm, I'm, I think we're gonna power it up here. All right, so when we're powering it up, that's gonna turn on the laser and mm -hmm. also the fume extractor, it's gonna get a little noisy. So yep. we're not gonna do that in real time. But uh, we'll jump to a montage of these yeah. shots and do our first cut. It's okay. our first cut with the universal laser. Let's Very go. exciting.
All right, Sean, where are we at? We've paused it for just a minute because the, the, the etching has been really cool, uh, but I just paused it so we can get set up to watch the cut because um, having gone through a lot of makerspace lasers and stuff like that, this just cuts so nice and so fast. So we're gonna do that next. Here we go. All right, so how, <laughs> nice cutting action, right? So here we go. That is a sweet sign, Sean. Yes, it is. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, so this is normally uh, when when we're doing this kind of thing, you'd, you'd coat the top with paper or tape uh, to prevent scorching. But even without that, there is barely any scorching around any of this. And a lot of times when you're messing around with the settings, you get like, this will get really dark. And it's just, it, it's beautiful. Um, but, and that's one of the advantages of having the material database where you literally are just plug and play. Like I have this wood, this thickness. And, and that's one of the hardest things to figure out. So it seems to have uh, the perfect settings for speed and everything. And it's cut clean through. We got, this piece was a little warped. So every, everything wasn't uh, exactly flat on the bed. So we only had this little bit there, but uh, other than that, this cut uh, beautifully. And we'll be doing many more projects with this laser cutter in the future. Absolutely, I've got, I've got big plans. Awesome. There you go, our first cut with the universal laser cutter. Beautiful. <laughs> 